Hi everybody, I'm David Ling. Um, really pleased to come here. I've met some of you guys in July. I'd love to meet more of you guys. I live in a small island in, uh, uh, called Samar in the middle of the South Pacific, so I've come a long way. I really want to make the most of being here. Now what I'm talking to today is uh, a very small tweak, which I'd really love to see. Um, so you guys with Ushahidi uh, and also the uh, task force would understand this. Um, we really want to make, um, uh, uh, Helena said something that was quite relevant, just a bunch of red dots. So really want to do something about changing that. And we want to uh, tweak Yushahidi to make it more dynamic. So in, in relation to how do we do that and why, um, in Samoa we've got about three people on the ground that can deal with uh, the task force. So we want to minimize the amount of time that they're actually having to deal with issues in relation to the mapping. So what, oh, you've given me animations, awesome. <laughs> I don't even have to speak, that's cool. Right, so basically that's the map as we know it. What we want to turn it into is something in real time so that we can see what the status is of each report on the map. And then that way we can say, right, um, we only have to deal with the ones that have issues, and I'll show you that a little bit further in the presentation. So here's somebody that's saying they're trapped, they need help, um, they're in the disaster zone, so they're, they're SMSing into uh, the system, and we'll get the message. Is this also in my timing? Cool. All right, because I sped it up a little, because there's not really that much to say. As I say, it tells itself. So what we can then do is say, hey, your message has been received, um, and we'll get to you as soon as possible. Now, you also know that in the Shahidi, there's the get alerts part. We're utilizing this as much as possible, pre-registering responders, so that uh, when the message comes through, it's automatically transferred through to them. Now, what are we going to do with it then? The idea is that each report is tagged. That's something that I really love to see, so it has a unique ID. So then we can send that through on, uh, and I'm talking about SMS in this stage, but we can also use the apps. Um, but we're keeping it as simple as possible. So it, it's sent out. Um, the information is also sent out to the responders that have said, we want to hear about these kind of messages. Um, now, as you know, a responder on the ground, there's 100 things going on. They may be responding to all sorts of things at the time. So they may come back and say, in for no, we can't can't do anything. Now what we do in Ushahidi or what we'd like to do in Ushahidi is that list of responders we will be able to see what their status is and I'll see that in the next slide because I've jumped ahead but um, the flashing dot indicates that there's a problem because none of the responders have said yes we'll take this issue up. Now for us watching this back at the operations center we can say now we've got an issue. Now we can go and have a look exactly what the problem is. We see there's a whole bunch of red dots there from those responders who want that information in that area. And then we start to manually deal with the process at that stage, not right at the start. So in this case, what we have is somebody said, yes, I can get there. It'll take me 90 minutes. So then we can use that information and go back to the person that's um, at the village or uh, who's got the problem and say we're coming to you but we're going to be there in about 90 minutes and in this case what you can see is that there's a uh, orange or I had to make it slightly yellow uh, to make it more obvious against the red but it means that we now got a, a process going that we can monitor the report and as I just mentioned before, we can actually send that message out to the person. So at least they're getting some interaction from us. They're realizing, yes, there's going to be help. Now, the dot goes orange on the map, and it's given that time frame of 90 minutes. If there's a problem, we will see and that when that time frame runs out, the dot is starting to flash. We say, OK, something's happened. They haven't been able to get there. What's going on? We can get back to the responder truck broke down, bridges out, whatever it is that the problem is, they haven't been able to get to that person. So we also find out that somebody else has also responded and says, yes, we'll be able to make it, but we're going to be a little bit delayed. It, it gives us a way of not having to deal with all 
the incidents that are going on. We just deal with the ones that need the attention um, through this automated process. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.